Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how to uh, choose the correct size of baseboard for each room. And in this video, we're actually going to calculate out the circuits and decide what size breakers and what size wire we're going to run to each of these areas. First of all, of note is the actual length of baseboard heaters. These are standard sizes. And if we look, all of these were 240 volts. And so a 350 watt baseboard heater typically is 24 inches long. A 750 watt baseboard heater is 36 inches long. 1000 watt is 48 inches long. 1250 is 60 inches long. 1500, 72 inches long. And a 2000 or 2500 watt is 96 inches long. Now there are some variations depending on the manufacturer that you uh, buy from but these are typically a uh, standard number. So if we want to calculate out what size breaker and what size wire we can use, one of the things that we have to take into consideration is um, sort of the ease and cost of the wire. So 14 gauge wire is uh, very inexpensive, easy to work with. So let's look at what we can do with a 14 uh, two conductor. So a 20 amp two pole breaker, when we look at how much we can load it up to, previously we saw a rule in section 62 that said we could only load this 20 amp breaker up to 80%. So 20 times 0.8 gives us 16 amps max on that breaker. When we use Watt's law, amps times volts, we can figure out the maximum number of watts that we can put on that 20 amp breaker. So 16 times 240 will give us 3,840 watts max. The wire size that we would use on this 20 amp breaker comes from table two. And we're assuming that the, both the thermostat and the breaker and the baseboard heater all have a 75 degree temp, uh, te terminal temperature rating. So table two, 75 degree column, tells us that number 14, AWG copper, is good for 20 amps. In a previous video, I talked about what an amended section means. Section two, 62 is an amended section. So that means that the rule in 14-104-2 does not apply. In other words, we can put a 20 amp breaker on this number 14 copper wire. Now in the two bedroom house, I had uh, two baseboards in the living room, a 1500 watt and a 2000 watt. So using the rules that we just looked at, when I take 3500 watts and look at it, it fits within our, our maximum for a 20 amp breaker. So I can use a 20 amp breaker. Also from table two, we said that the wire is good for 20 amps. And so when I divide this out, I end up with less than 20 amps. And so the 14-2 Lumex is fine. I have three baseboards on this next circuit. And these are in the kitchen area in the nook. So 1,000 watt, 1250, and a 5,000 adds up to 2750. Also fits within our maximum of 3840. So we can use a 20 amp double pull breaker and again, a 14 two limit. Our third example was the three baseboards. This was in the master bedroom, the 1500 watt and a thousand watt. And in the bathroom, we had a 500 watt. Adds up to 3000. So again, we can use a 20 amp double pull breaker and number 14 Lumex. In our next video, We'll actually wire that up.